You're watching Pulse for the 15th of March and it is finally time for some Dota news. In this week's episode we take a look at the Warcraft 3 Dota 6.74 patch notes, the latest Dota 2 patch for the 14th of March featuring some of the same changes and the terribly frightening Shadow Demon, the big Dota 2 changes from the 8th of March and more. Let's get straight to the news. First up, as I mentioned, I thought it apt that we discuss the Dota 1 6.74 patch notes, as a lot of them actually got carried over to the latest Dota 2 patch. Now sure, we could have just jumped straight to the Dota 2 patch to talk about that instead, but I think it's good to keep an eye on what's happening with Dota 1, as the patches for Dota 1 do generally tend to come out before those for Dota 2. And as I mentioned before, most of those really big changes, especially the balance changes, do get carried over. And yes, it's a bit weird calling it Dota 1, but Dota 2 is called Dota 2. I guess I could have called it Warcraft Dota, but hey, it's all the same thing in the end. So I will say again that many of the changes in 6.74 are targeting heroes that aren't in Dota 2 yet. Some big heroes that were targeted that are actually already in Dota 2 are the Invoker and the Dark Seer. If you really like one of those heroes, then you should probably check the patch notes out below because there are some pretty major changes. We will obviously be seeing these balance changes on the normal version of the Dota 2 beta soon. They are already on the test client right now. It's also worth bearing in mind that these balance changes won't affect the tournament scene in Dota 2 for a while due to the latest and tournament modes that are actually available for play, so that's probably a good thing, but if you want to test them out, jump onto Battle.net and give Dota 6.74 a try in Warcraft 3, or just try the Dota 2 test client if you're in the beta right now. If you are interested in the other patch notes for 6.74, they have actually been scrolling down your screen for the past minute or two, and you can find them linked in the description below this video. On that note, I'd actually like to ask you guys and girls how many of you are still playing Warcraft Dota. Does it still interest you? Do you play Hon, League of Legends, or do you just have your sights firmly set on Dota 2 right now? Let me know below, I'm always interested. I can tell you that it's still quite huge down here in South Africa, but with that, let's move on to the next piece of news. Now we're going to talk about the latest Dota 2 patch from March the 14th. So this is not exactly the same as the one that I just spoke about. There were a couple of other changes in addition, such as the addition of the Shadow Demon Hero. This one is one that a lot of people have been waiting for, and as I said at the start of this episode, it is looking quite terrifying indeed. The model is absolutely amazing. Again though, I don't know if I really need to mention this, but if you're in the beta right now, you can jump into the test client to try this hero out. Other than that though, they do mention in the patch notes that they did update Dota 2 to a 6.74 parity and that tournament mode will be updated to this version next week. They fixed the bug that caused Dust of Appearance not to affect magic immune heroes, they added support for shared unit control and they added the option to disable help. Then there were a bunch of bug fixes that aren't that interesting so I probably won't be talking about them very much. In the UI changes they added copy paste support, which is something that I'm actually surprised is only making it into the game right now. They added a small stock cooldown to the flying courier recipe so that you don't buy it multiple times anymore. Item auras now show a buff icon on the carrier of the aura and a bunch of other changes. If you want to see all of these you can have to check the full patch notes out for yourself and as always you can find them linked below. Moving right along though, onto the Dota 2 update for March the 8th of 2012, there was pretty much only one really big change here. Captain's mode now has 5 bands once again. Needless to say, this is a pretty big change and it's going to be making waves in the tournament scene for sure. I would say this is probably going to make the people who draft their heroes think a little bit harder about what they do before doing it. Things are definitely going to change and I think those first couple of minutes of every tournament game are going to be that much more exciting now. For a while at least. So for like the millionth time you can check all those patch notes out below. You can hop onto the beta right now to test them out for yourself and if you don't have access to the Dota 2 beta you could play Dota 1 or Warcraft Dota 6.74. That's close enough I guess. And what can I say, practice is practice, at least that way you can be ready for Dota 2. But now let's move on to the Dota 2 smalls. First up in the smalls something that's not really very small. Navi have taken the crown at the defense. If you were wondering, Navi faced off against Quantic Gaming in the finals, and the final stand-ins were Navi in first place, Quantic Gaming in second, and the Evil Geniuses in third. You can read all about those results below, courtesy of the guys over at Join Dota. Next up, Maneski won the recent Razer Dota 2 tournament, and Mao Sports walked away with a first place at the DR Brawl. Next, you can read about the conclusion of the Premier League Season 1, read about the $15,000 Star Series tournament, and then something I found incredibly impressive, Toby One's Weekend Casting Marathon. 
This guy put in an inhuman amount of hours over the past weekend, and I have to say it was super impressive to see. Check a video out right here on YouTube that I personally think is not getting nearly enough attention. Razor Academy Week 1, learn Dota with Toby1. While he does cover the basics of the basics here, it's still very useful for someone looking to get into the game. And then last up, the Defenders number 51, the Outworld Destroyer. Impressive as always. Sadly, that's all I have for you in the Dota news this week. Before ending this video off, I just wanted to give a quick thanks to Bob T. Goldfish, who actually helped out collecting a lot of this news. I really, really appreciate it, and it's nice to have someone who actually knows about the Dota scene helping me out with it. So again, thanks a lot, Bob. I know I've said it a thousand times, but I do mean it. Anyway, check back here soon for more. Remember to check the description below this video for everything that I spoke about. Like it, and do all that other good stuff, and most importantly, happy playing that Shadow Demon, if you can. If not, happy Warcraft Dota 6.74.